The uh, post office had warned that Massachusetts was one of 46 states where it may not, where it might not be able to get all the mail-in ballots in in time. Tonight, not all the concerns have been alleviated. Outside the Postal Service's sorting facility in Boston, Congressman Stephen Lynch rallied with postal workers and other union members against the recent changes. This is a direct attack, a direct attempt to, to obstruct the delivery of the mail, to obstruct the democratic election that is before us. Lynch says six sorting machines have recently been removed from the Boston sorting facility. And in Shrewsbury, Congressman Jim McGovern said another three machines have disappeared there under orders from President Trump. In order for him to try to rig this election, he wants to destroy the postal, uh, the postal service. At 1 o'clock this afternoon, Attorney General Maura Healey tweeted she and other states were suing to stop the post office changes. 44 minutes later, the Postmaster General tweeted a statement saying in part, to avoid even the appearance of any impact on election mail, I am suspending these initiatives until after the election is concluded. I actually submitted it. I plan to vote by mail. Governor Baker said today he has submitted his request for a mail-in ballot for the September 1st primary, and the Secretary of State says his office has mailed out ballots to about 21 percent of Massachusetts registered voters, and that about 3 percent have already mailed them back. We're quite delighted with this response. We think it's certainly going to help not only increase the turnout, but also give people the option of participating without concerning themselves about their health. Tonight, Attorney General Healy says despite the assurances from the Postmaster General, she is going ahead with that lawsuit. She says she wants binding agreements that the Trump administration will not interfere with the post office. Live in Boston, David Beanie, WCVB News Center 5.